The Ottumwa Board of Education held a meeting at the Ottumwa High School Library on Monday night. Gear Up Coordinator Barb Hansen spoke to the board about the Gear Up program. Gear Up stands for Gain Early Awareness and Readiness for Undergraduate Programs. It is a federal grant that is managed by Iowa College Aid. And the reason why this grant came about is because research shows, as you all know, Low-income districts tend to have lower college-going rates, and we want to make a change to that. She also talked about the recent ACT tests that were funded through the grant. Uh, ACT test, very fresh, March 12th. I am very happy to say that we had 85% of our juniors come and take the ACT, which is a huge endeavor and something to be very proud of. Um, these kids were excited and grateful for the opportunity. Um, many of them have barriers that would have prevented them from taking the ACT had this opportunity not been there. Typically the test is on a Saturday and for some kids, work obligations, family obligations, financial obligations would have prevented that from happening. So. The upcoming budget estimate was a key topic of the meeting. They first looked at some of the good news for the district's finances. Reserves and goals, solvency ratio are with it where they're supposed to be, and our spending authority is, is very sufficient for what we need. Um, some other things are property tax rates. We're projecting that to continue to remain pretty stable. That's been the history here in Atumwa. Uh, the district's portion of a property owner's tax bill is projected to remain stable, and we'll have a slide to talk about the property tax a little bit. Um, and 2.06 this year from the state is better than we've had for a couple, so definitely uh, positive there. Then it was time to look at some of the concerns. Some of the concerns, the big concern here is of course the open enrollment out of the district. That's a significant expenditure for us. Uh, as we talked about last meeting or the one before, seeing some improvements there, uh, that'll still take a little time to flow through on the budget side. Um, the other thing is we need increased and stable commercial property valuations. Um, we took a huge hit last year with valuation, uh, equalization. Uh, came out 6% and it, it'll take us a little while to kind of climb back from that. But they did go up this year, so that's good news, and we'll talk about that a little bit. Additional meetings about the budget will be held in the upcoming months. In anticipation of the upcoming one-to-one -one computer rollout, a new software system for students was proposed. We're going to be using a new technology to the district. Uh, it's called EDI, Virtual Desktop Infrastructure. Um, an easy way to understand this is to think of how a streaming service works now, like Netflix or Hulu, for example. Uh, the movie's not actually on your machine, it's actually on a machine in a server across the network and it's just being streamed to you or virtualized. So that's exactly what this does, just with programs instead of movies. The next school board meeting will be held on April 8th. For Tumble Radio News, this is Kyle Smith.